Hey everybody, welcome to season seven of Gishelle Tech TV. Just kidding. I don't know what season we're on because I'm not really counting seasons here at Gishelle Tech TV. Are you counting? Because I'm not counting. I don't know. Anyway. So happy March, everybody. Um, today I'm checking in because I recently started a new job as a web administrator. So I wanted to come on here and talk about it. Not only that, but also um, I wanted to talk about it because maybe it's a role that you may not have previously considered, whether you're entry level or whether you've been in the industry. Um, maybe other people may be interested in this kind of role. So I just wanna talk about it a little bit today. And also I have already gotten the question, what's a web administrator? So thanks Vidal Vidal or Vedel Vedel for your question. And just to make it easier, I'm actually gonna go over the job posting when I was applying for this role. Um, I pretty much save job postings that I apply for to kind of break the job down and highlight and it helps me with my resume, helps me with my cover letter. So I have it saved here. So I'll be talking about the gist of my role. So let's get started. So the position is again, web administrator and so the original posting had that the web administrator is responsible for a wide range of administrative tasks that relate to design development and maintenance of e-commerce websites which is what i work on e-commerce websites um, for the organization's client list and we set up fully featured e-commerce websites by updating dns records configuring payment gateways store views and shipping methods in Magento, which is a content management system. And this is actually also the gist of my role is we perform website communi uh, not communication, configuration for current and new uh, client websites. We work with web platforms such as Magento and WordPress and with propri uh, proprietary applications, assist with front end design and development tasks and projects, work with domains and DNS. Basically it's website configuration. And this is talking about all the configuration stuff we do. And then we also manage internal processes and documentation, coordinate with clients and third party services for site improvements and support, provide internal support for multiple departments by troubleshooting issues with websites and software tools. We escalate issues when needed to specific development and support departments. So the qualifications, what, what they were looking for is basically just like high school, any technical training or equivalent combination of education and experience. So they uh, were looking for at least a year of HTML and CSS experience with content management systems, Magento and WordPress preferred. I did have WordPress experience prior to starting um, or getting hired and experience with project management tools, Jira preferred, and then ability to problem solve is a must. So this is not a job that was looking for a computer science degree. They were more so looking for experience. And the skills are, were pretty much standard, self-motivated, hardworking, organized, thick skin and resilient, ever-changing timelines and requests and deliverables, communication skills, pri uh, able to prioritize projects, um, this is a big one, ability to adapt to new tools and technologies. That's huge in any tech job. Magento experience, which my WordPress experience and Drupal experience translated very well over to this. HTML, CSS, GitHub, knowledge of DNS, SSL, Nginx. If you've ever dealt with domains, you probably have some fundamental knowledge in that. Software troubleshooting, familiar with JavaScript, PHP, and web API is a plus. Ability to prioritize work and resources across support tasks and projects based on short and long-term needs, relies on experience and judgment to plan and accomplish tasks and ability to adopt and learn new tools, which we said that already. So I got a message on LinkedIn, many messages on LinkedIn, but I'm gonna feature this message from Pun. Congrats on the new role, Jashelle. Mind sharing how you got the role, like interview questions and any coding challenges. So when it comes to interviews, I can never remember specific questions ever because I guess I'm so zoned into the interview. Um, I can always remember kind of what I talked about, but like specific questions, I don't ever remember those, so. <laughs> So I'm gonna just uh, talk about uh, what we talked about. So I remember talking about my experience with HTML, CSS, and content management systems. I remember um, talking about a time where I experienced a challenging task at work and got through it. And how do I handle having a lot of tasks to, com to complete? 
And as far as coding challenges, there were none for this company and role. Out of all three roles that I've been in since 2019, I've only ever had one coding challenge and I actually talk about that in um, one of my videos, software development resume, no experience. So it's more about resumes, but I did talk briefly about it. And I actually uh, would like to make a video exclusively talking more about my interviews experience, but not in this one. All right, so a day in the life as a website administrator, what do I do? So my day to day is pretty much setting up websites. That's pretty much what I do all day is set them up, set them up, set them up, set them up, set them up. Okay, was that necessary? I don't know. So me or the other web admin will pretty much take charge of handling the preparations of getting a new site live. And it's not always a new website. Sometimes it's a website that's already up and running and it's been up and running. And maybe uh, the client wants some changes in the configuration. So we take that on as well. But as far as setting up new websites, how it starts is uh, we'll basically create a link for staging. This is where we perform a lot of things before the site goes live. So we pretty much set up a subdomain and we do DNS related stuff, just making sure that we can change their current DNS records. And the web design team creates a series of tickets for us to complete to prep the site to go live. And this includes things like adding in a logo or fave icon or favicon whatever you want to call it and a title tag and um, we'll set up widgets um, put in putting contact information in the form so you know you have a web form and just making sure um, the form the data or the submission is going to the right email address um, we also set up cart rules for shipping and delivery. So um, this requires heavy customization in the database using SQL conditions and it's GUI style so we don't have to code it out. But for example, when a customer is shopping on that client's website and they go to check out, well, we set up different rule rules for that. Um, that's where the payment gateways come in. So there's widgets like um, they may just want a credit card uh, payment gateway or they may want um, PayPal or something like that. So we're setting that up for them. That's a, those are, that's a payment gateway. But as far as the cart rules, um, when it comes to SQL and conditionals, um, obviously somebody in a certain location may not want to provide delivery for someone 150,000 miles away. So we have to limit that and create conditionals for that. So if if postal code is one of these delivery available, but even within those delivery availables, you may they may have it to where if you're five miles out, then delivery is only ten dollars. But if you're 20 miles out, delivery may be thirty dollars or something like that. So we're basically putting in all those rules for delivery. So that's that's actually one of the biggest tasks that I have uh, when it comes to the configuration. But again, it's it's done through a GUI, so I'm just putting the data in there. We're also coordinating API setup for prod products. We're setting up redirects. We're setting up roles um, and users, basically setting up the users that have certain privileges um, to, on the website. Basically, we're basically just setting up an administrator that's running the website or several administrators, however many they want. I'm also coordinating with other teams for anything needed for the site. So something that another team has to handle or they, or we may have to collaborate on a certain task. And I may also have to reach out to a third party for things too, especially with payment gateways. Um, certain accounts have to be set up and, and all that. So, so after we prepare this site, we move it into production and that um, includes SSL, which that's handled by another team. We do DNS stuff like changing the uh, records and we're also changing the URL from the subdomain to the production link, which is the usually typically you know, standard, uh, the domain name. And beyond that, um, anything else outside of that is 
troubleshooting or escalating problems that come up with the websites like maybe something is just not working as expected so we have to go in and see what's going on and fix it also making website configuration updates or changes managing documentation and managing jira so in jira um pretty much me and the other web admin um we manage our um tickets that come in so the tickets come in from this form that people submit and they come into our jira board and we're just assigning it accordingly um whether it could be maybe it's supposed to go to another team but it came to us things like that and as far as documentation if i want to write something you know that i don't already see in the documentation that's going to help you know maybe the next person that joins our team then you know that's good stuff because you're helping with training you're helping with support how do i feel about it i like it i feel that it's just the right amount of responsibility that i want to have the process in general is very efficient as far as how the teams and the tasks are split up it's back-end configuration focus which is what i'm more interested in it's good for where i see my career going in the future for the next steps learning wise like my personal learning i was thinking of focusing on more database stuff back-end languages dns servers magento but just one day at a time as always just seeing where things things go um so right now i'm just focused on work and what i need to learn for that and as far as personal learning, um, I, outside of work lately, I've really just been focused on other things. Not to mention, not to mention, it's 100% remote, which is what I was looking for. We have a lot of perks and rewards, um, including uh, we have a four day company trip to Las Vegas coming up. It's basically a summit where we, there's speakers, um, our clients are gonna be there. Um, and basically it's just a kind of summit to get together. You can meet your colleagues, things like that. That's gonna be cool. So I definitely like it so far. It feels like exactly what I needed at this moment in my career. And I'm just gonna keep learning and keep growing. If you have any questions about being a web administrator, uh, feel free to let me know, drop a comment. Although I think for this role, um, every company is going to be different as far as what is a web administrator because I was actually curious myself I went on indeed.com and I typed in web administrator and it's it could be vastly different from company to company not like front end or back end developer but it's different for everybody so I don't know so I'll try to answer as many questions as I can but I think this is, um, you know, it could be, again, a good entry level position, depending on the company. Some company may require way more experience and it could be a good role for someone looking to maybe focus on more of the configuration stuff and maybe a little coding. But anyways, I just wanted to check in today and talk about my new role. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.